Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Lainey. Today we're going to be talking about Christmas gift ideas. I did this video last year and I think I did a lot more last year. We're going to do 22 this year for Christmas 2022. But last year I'm pretty sure I did 50, but give me a break. I'm filming this November 9th. I'm nine months pregnant, so I love my excuse of being nine months pregnant. Let's just get into it. I didn't do any repeats from last year, so you guys can totally watch that video. Gifts that are still very much up to date and then get this one for more ideas. Okay, so the first thing I have on my list, I think is a very like normal thing to have on a Christmas wish list, and that's luggage, especially with all of us being able to travel finally. Luggage is a really great gift idea. So I think to pay attention to how the person you're giving this gift to travels, or if you're asking for this, think of how you travel. If you're someone who always flies spirit and you need, you know, luggage that isn't a check-on that fits in the personal item bag, I really highly suggest Baboon to the Moon. I have two of their duffels and the smaller option all of these things will be linked in the description box as well but the smaller option fits as a spirit personal item so I'm gonna guess it fits as like a Delta American Airlines all of those personal item but if you're someone or gifting this to someone who always checks a bag you know, think of those sizes as well. I had the Bay's luggage and I really, really liked that as a carry-on. Uh, it was super light, super durable, but I did get it stolen, so I don't have it anymore. But the Baboon to the Moon one, I still use all the time. And honestly, wearing a backpack instead of a rolly bag, I just like it better, like having things so close to me. The next gift idea, I feel like I've leaned a lot more into home things this year, would be a cutting board. Cutting boards can be really expensive, especially a really nice one. My mom's been on the lookout for one for a minute now, because whether it's the shape of your table is super long and you want, you know, a long rectangular one or you have a circle table so you want to circle one a cutting board to like leave out and use as decoration I can link a few I find obviously in the description box below but I don't think anyone would be mad about getting a really nice wood cutting board number three is a gel nail kit I feel like all of our TikTok for you pages have been about these like gel X how to do your nails at home I have a little UV light and I just do gel polish at home and honestly it saves you so much money for me it's really therapeutic to paint my own nails and I can get them to last like two to three weeks. I feel like that investment of buying your own gel nail kit, even though it's like under 50 bucks to get a few polishes, the base coat, the top coat, and the UV light, it's just intimidating and I never want to spend the money. But I feel like gifting it or asking for it for Christmas is a really great option. Number four is something I give to my mom every single year and that's Babe Lash. So it's that Lash Growth Serum. I'm not trying to put my mom on blast, but she always says when you get older, your eyelashes just start to fall out more and, you know, get thinner. So I feel like we always think of Babe Lash as something like our generation uses, but I feel like if your mom or grandma is into skincare or, you know, beauty, makeup, any of that stuff, putting them on a Babe Lash or a Lash Growth Serum is a really great gift. I literally restock my mom's every single year. I also have a coupon code. If you you guys want to use it they did not pay me to say any of this i've been using babe lash i think since 2017 and i haven't stopped since yeah it's really great and pretty affordable the next thing is i hope my family doesn't watch this Oh shoot. Okay, I'm just gonna text them not to watch this, but it's something I actually got two of my family members and they're these little dog keychains. I'm a sucker for anything personalized that looks like my dog. So I actually got one for myself that looks like my old dog, Duncan. She has so many breeds, literally every single breed you can think of. It's so cute to get a personalized gift like this and they're pretty inexpensive. It's a small business on Etsy. I love supporting Etsy sellers, so. Definitely a must. The next thing, this video isn't even sponsored. I don't think it's gonna be sponsored. I don't think it's sponsored. But a case of iPhone case. I'm not sponsored again in this video. You guys know I work with them all the time though. I feel like you cannot go wrong again with the case of iPhone case because you can personalize it. And adding, making any gift personalized just adds this like, amazing touch so getting a phone case and writing your friend's name on it or maybe like a silly joke inside joke you guys have would be so adorable um they're also super great for you know protecting your phone i'm someone who likes to make gifts and make them you know very sentimental and personal. So if you're somebody who's not super crafty, I feel like, you know, ordering the dog keychain that seems per so personable 
or a case to my phone case with some saying on it is a really great option. The next thing is something I'm sitting on right now. So I actually got this for my birthday, but if you still know somebody who's working from home and maybe they're still using a dining room chair, cough, cough my dad, as their work from home office setup, an office chair is a really great, great, great gift. Obviously this can be a little bit more expensive. So if you're asking for it or giving it to someone, maybe you go in with somebody else, but I got this one from Ikea. It was a bit more pricey. It's changed my life. It is so comfy and I, I enjoy sitting at it and working. It makes you feel like when you sit in the office chair, you're about to get like SHIT done. And when I had like a little lounge chair sitting in front of my desktop computer, I just wanted to like cuddle up and watch TV while sitting at my desk. You can find really cute and sleek office chairs now as well. They don't have to just be the generic like black one, but definitely go for comfort. Another great gift or something to ask for if you or someone you know recently moved out, glassware is always a really great option. I honestly don't have that many glasses at our apartment now. And I feel like I'm always missing one for a certain drink. I don't know. I I have like, I like certain cups for my iced coffee, for a LaCroix, for water, for like a cocktail, wine. I don't think you can go wrong finding somebody like a set of four really cute cups to use as like cocktail glasses or iced coffee glasses. Honestly, the more unique, the better to me. And these are something that are really easy to go to like a vintage store or thrift and add it to maybe their present already or, or pair it with like a bottle of wine or liquor or a nice coffee. Number nine are coffee table books. I feel like, again, this is something that people don't necessarily want to buy for themselves because coffee table books and especially nice coffee table books can be so expensive. This is something I'll always put on my wish list because again, it's just something I won't buy for myself, but I always want and you keep them forever. But, uh, it's a coffee table book. I don't know what else to say about it. I'll link some really good ones down below. The next thing I have on my list are subscriptions. So you could get a gift card to most of these subscriptions and subscriptions I'm talking about, my favorite would be like a DoorDash Dash a DoorDash Dash Pass, Spotify, Ipsy, Vogue, Newly, HelloFresh, or even dog training. I think that these are literally the gifts that keep on giving. Obviously some can be more expensive than others. You don't have to do even a full year. You could do six months of one of these, but this is again, something that can be so personalized and it doesn't feel like just a gift card to their favorite restaurant. Um, every time they are gonna turn on their Spotify account and don't have to listen to an ad, they're gonna think of you. Even YouTube Premium, I recently upgraded this year and it's just made me addicted to YouTube, honestly even more addicted. Um, an Ipsy glam bag, you know, getting those little samples of makeup every month. They're gonna think of you every single time one of those comes around. It's the gift that keeps on giving for sure. The next thing I thought of are, I classified them as like hobby starters because again, I feel like this initial push to start any hobby and invest in any hobby can be scary because what if you're not good at it? What if you don't like it? If you have someone else who kind of gives you that kickstart, it's gonna make you more inclined to not not only use it, but also finally give it a try. Some that I have are like knitting or crochet. Get somebody a little kit of a few knitting needles or a few crochet needles in different sizes. Maybe like three uh, spools of yarn, balls of yarn. And you could even add a little booklet of like knitting 101. I wrote down painting. So again, just giving somebody some canvases and some brushes and paint. I don't really know what goes into that. Pottery, if you would want to get somebody a full wheel or you just get them some clay and like little tools to cut up with. Um, coloring books are, you know, a really great one and get some nice colored pencils or markers to go with it. Embroidery, getting the hoop and the needle and thread. Scrapbooking, I think would be such a fun hobby to start. Um, if it's a close friend, you know, you start them off and print off some pictures and maybe give some magazines that have like cute fonts and pictures in them themselves and then a little scrapbook. Um, you could even give them like a glue stick and ribbon and stickers and I think if someone gave me that, that'd be so much fun. And honestly, I want to get into scrapbooking because I want like my baby to be able to look into it or to have that and look back on. And honestly, another really fun one that my mom and I got into over quarantine is calligraphy. Just getting the like markers that or pens you're supposed to use and then a little like calligraphy how-to book. 
So the next thing is actually off my Christmas wish list, and I'm gonna film my Christmas wish list after this because they're a little bit more like specific things and uh, like clothing items and things that I don't know if everyone would like, where these I feel like you can think of like people who would like them, but this one is pretty overarching. And that's the Ugg boot guard. I always talk about how my Uggs get nasty and they actually sell these little rubber like gloves for your Ugg boots. If you know somebody who got a pair of Uggs, maybe getting them the Ugg boot guard and the little like suede spray, even though I swear the suede spray does not work. I sprayed my Uggs and it, it just doesn't work, but still <laughs> you can try it out. I think that'd be a really nice gift. Number 13 is something that I use every single day and that's a Stanley water bottle. I know that these are so like hyped up and seems dumb, but I literally drink seven or eight Stanley water bottles a day. I think I only have the 30 ounce, not the biggest one. The reason I love them is they're so easy to travel with because they do fit in a cup holder on like a hydro flask. Um, and that was the biggest like turn on for me. And then also they have a handle. So Brandon always makes fun of me because when I'm walking out the door, I've always got my little handle of my Stanley water bottle and then my purse. I've always just got a lot of stuff to carry waddling out the door. Yeah, I don't think you can go wrong giving anybody a Stanley water bottle. Next thing, maybe you know somebody who's really into TikTok or Instagram or just wants to start like influencing or just creating content, whatever. I think a really fun gift would be getting like the ring light tripod that holds your phone. Just giving someone that push and kind of letting them know, because that can be a scary thing, trying to start like a TikTok or a YouTube channel. Giving them that push of like, hey, we support you and we think it's really cool you wanna do this. I would be so excited if anyone got me anything that has to do with like what I do online. <laughs> Number 15 is from another Etsy seller. I talk about her all the time and it's Fiersa bags. I've got two of them right here. I've got this metallic blue one and this metallic silver one in a bigger size. So she hand makes all these bags. They're genuine leather in Greece and they're the best quality bags I've ever felt in my entire life. She's also the sweetest person ever. My mom has one. I think we want to get my grandma one this year just because they're so cute and I feel like they're just so practical and cute for like the widest range of ages. Uh, my friends have a few of them and yeah, they're just the best. Definitely check them out. It feels like the designer quality at a super affordable price point. So I feel like if you again wanna step out giving someone something that feels a lot more expensive than it is, going on the real real and checking out what they have, whether it's like a wallet or a scarf or maybe even like a watch, a piece of jewelry, a keychain, any of these accessories can be under $100 on the real real and it could be like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, whatever. If you have somebody who is into designer and thinks that stuff is cool, um, you could really impress them by getting them a designer accessory off the real real. Number 17 I think is a really really cute gift idea and that's a locket. I can link some down below but a little heart locket and going ahead and putting pictures in them before you give it to them. There's a few on Etsy where you can like send in the pictures and they'll do it for you but it's also really easy just to print out the pictures yourself and cut them up. If you give this to your mom putting maybe like you and your sibling in the heart locket or maybe your kids uh, in the heart locket, I think is really cute. Put your pets in it, it's freaking cute. Number 18 is something I actually give to one of my friends every year for her birthday now. I've done it twice, but I feel like it's just tradition now. And that's like a thrift bundle. Um, if you know somebody who's really into fashion or likes thrifting, but maybe just doesn't have the time for it, I think finding them a few pieces from the thrift store is a really, really cute idea. It's fun too, because the thrift tends to be so inexpensive that you can get them so much stuff and it feels like you spent a fortune. You might've taken a really long time to do it, but it's so worth it. And it's my favorite thing ever watching my best friend Izzy open her little thrift bundle, not little, giant thrift bundle I make her every year. Um, and then, you know, just seeing her wear the clothes. Yeah, I think especially if somebody doesn't thrift, getting them a thrift bundle, they will be so impressed and think you literally like went above and beyond when you just love thrifting or I just love thrifting. Number 20 is something I get uh, questions about all the time and it's this little Casio watch. I don't have it on right now, but I think a Casio watch is so freaking adorable. Uh, this like gold faced little gold watch. You can find them for really inexpensive on eBay and they're just super cool looking. Um, I stole mine from my brother. 
The next gift idea I have is a memory box. I don't know if people do this, but my mom always had like, she had this big, she called it a hopeless chest, but it's just like a hope chest. And she put all her like sentimental things in there. And I've always had a little box that I'll put sentimental things in there, whether it's like tickets to something or photo strips. Um, just little memoirs from vacations or stuff like that. I think getting somebody a really nice box like that to put away all their little memories is really cute. Cards and notes. I love it. Especially if like a boyfriend to a girlfriend or girlfriend to boyfriend, partners, whatever. Um, and kind of starting it off, maybe like putting your first movie ticket in there that you guys saw together or putting like the corsage from prom or stuff like that. It's adorable and I love it. I don't know why I only have 21 gifts. What can be number 22? I think that was only 21. Number 22 is give somebody a big fat hug and tell them you love them. That's the best gift of all. Spend time with someone. Tell your mom that you'll go grocery shopping with her. <laughs> My mom loves that gift because I never wanna go grocery shopping with her um, and she hates grocery shopping, but I do too. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite was. And remember to check out the description box for literally every gift link from this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in a few days. Bye. I'm exposing my belly.